Welcome to Aprilia Performance. Welcome to the Monday morning walk around that again isn't the Monday morning walk around. This was uh, Bank Holiday Monday last uh, yesterday uh, and I haven't been here for a little while so we haven't done one. So forgive me for not getting back to you, unfortunately. Those of you who have been watching, we have been kind of wandering around in, in America a little bit and catching up with people in America. So uh, my apologies for not being back to us, but we're back again. The sun is out. If you have a quick look, it's absolutely spectacular. Summer's here. We're walking around in t-shirts, so it's brilliant. So thanks very much for all of those people that were sending us pictures of the sunshine. Probably you guys are going into winter now, so we'll do the back in return and we'll send you some pictures back of the sun. Thanks very, very much for everything. Great stuff. Right then, what we're going to do is give you a little bit of a walk around of what we've got in the workshop and let's find out what's happening and uh, make sure we can sort it out. See you in a bit. Right then, the walk round, let's do this. Okay, basically what we've got here is we've got two jobs that I want to show you about. The usual bikes are here, so the usual bikes are, so there's no point in me going through those ones again. We've just got a few that are hanging on a little bit, a couple of sales bikes, that kind of stuff. When the sales bikes come up, we'll see and we'll show you what's going on with the sales bikes. We can actually put the sales bikes into this little area as well as it goes, I think. So what I'm going to ask, I've got two jobs on the bench at the moment that are serious and good and interesting as well. So if you follow me over here, this one, we've got Ian Sayers bike over this one. This is pretty cool as it goes. This one's in for some rear sets. This one's got some like uh, some dyno work. This one's got uh, power commanders. So it's a reasonably stock vibe. But what we're going to try and do is turn it into something with a bit of a fire breather. Really great condition. That kind of stuff. I think it's kind of a bit stock at the moment, but we're soon going to deal with that one. Then this one over here. This is Adam's bike. This is a fire breathing, snot flicking animal that's going to be turned into a what it is. It's actually a big bore engine. The, I think the engine went in uh, a couple of days ago. So we've got about probably a day's work before that's ready for the dyno. So we've got a little bit of time and space to sort of deal with this one. But this is an extra special bike. This is massive spec. This one's got the end cans. It's got rear sets. It's got massive cylinders. I think basically what he's done is he's just, just, just gone way overboard with this one, which is absolutely fantastic. So this one, absolutely brilliant. Um, we'll come back to this one again in another time. I think when we've got this one sorted out, give you a little bit of a result. I think he dynoed up originally at about 122, 123, I think it was something along those lines, but that's going to come back an absolute beast. That one is not a problem. So, what I'm going to do next is we'll give you a little bit of a technical bit. Welcome back, thanks very much. This is the technical bit for this particular slot as it goes. So what we're going to try and do is talk to you about one of the basic things. Now then, these Rotax, the B-twin engines, they run what's known as a dry sump setup. The dry sump setup is dealt with when we're talking about doing oil and filter changes and checking oil levels. It's dealt with in a slightly different way to the traditional manner that we would become accustomed to with a wet sump. So your Japanese 4 setup, V4 for example, they run what's known as a wet setup. Now the wet setup means that basically, wet setup there's a sump area in the bottom of the engine which holds the capacity of the engine oil. This means that the engine internals are splashing around in a great big sort of well of oil. This can be, and it is a massively uh, efficient way of being able to deal with this particular situation, but what you find is that an awful a lot of the drag is, is created on the engine internals because it's running through a sump of engine oil. Now then, Rotax, in their wisdom, decided to use what's known as a dry sump setup. Now, the dry sump setup is a slightly different way of being able to deal with the lubrication setup on these engines, which means they've got not quite a massive well of oil like they would have done on the wet sump setup, but they run a separate oil tank. Now, traditionally, British bikes used to run, and perhaps some early Japanese bikes used to run a wet sump setup. So what happens is we've got this sort of uh, tank of oil here, which is actually fed via a scavenge pump inside the engine, which then forces the, the, the oil to uh, around the engine. Now, the, the bit that's finding, uh, that some people are finding tricky with this, uh, and the bit that some people are having difficulty with is because this is a slightly different method. There's a lot of people out there misinforming uh, and there's a lot of misinformation about how to deal with a dry sump setup. So what I'm going to try and do is dispel the myth, show you how it's done. Okay, well this is what we do in this workshop. This is the method that we use. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to do, from a complete drain down an oil change, I'll explain to you how to sort it out. So, what we've got in the first instance is we will drain off at three points. We've got a magnetic sump plug here. We've got the oil filter here, which we touched on two weeks ago. Two different shapes, uh, two different size oil filters, the extended and the standard. Make sure you get the right one. And then we've got the, some, the actual oil tank drain plug here. What we need to do when we do that is drain all of these off, bolt them all back up, we fill 
the tank up with three litres of oil. Okay. Fill it up with three litres of oil. Then what we will do is we will run the engine up until the fans come on, the cooling fans come on, twice. Okay? Means we can't actually go out and road test them. But if you can go out and road test them, you know your bike's okay. Not a problem. Five, ten minutes. Come back. Let the bike set just for 30 seconds. Lift the bike up so it's level. Okay? Then what we'll try and do is we'll try and set the oil level in the straw, this little straw here, we'll try and set the oil level about an inch above minimum, so about between an inch above minimum and halfway. If you fill it up any more, what you can find is that the air filter will, will fill up with oil, uh, especially if you're into wheelies, that kind of stuff. Let's be honest with you, we all love a wheelie, so not a problem. But if you overfill it, or if you fill it up to the top, you will find out that you will get oil in your air box. So, briefly, just once more, fill it up with three, uh, three litres of oil, run the bike up to the fans come on twice, reset the level till it's between an inch and halfway on the straw. Simple as that. Okay? You only check the oil on a dry sump setup when the engine is hot. On a standard wet sump setup, traditionally you would check it when it was cold. Okay? But on a dry sump setup, you check it when it's hot. If you've got any problems, if you're in any doubt whatsoever, give us a shout at the workshops, not a problem. You can find the telephone number on, uh, on the internet, not a problem. Or you can get in touch with us at service at aprilliaperformance.co.uk. The website is aprilliaperformance.co.uk. You can find our Facebook page, not a problem, or you can even subscribe to us on the YouTube channel. That's Aprilia Performance UK. If you've got any questions, get in touch. If you've got any answers, get in touch, because we surely can use those. If you've got anything you want to share with us, get in touch, it's not a problem. Thanks very much for listening, take care, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>